Hello? Oh, hey, how's it going? What? Jamie Lee Curtis has wrapped up her role as Laurie Strode on the set of the new Halloween film currently shooting in Charleston, South Carolina already? Well, you know, calm down. There's many variables as to why that might be. Uh, you know, well, I, you know, I guess I could. I, I was just about to do a video, so I guess I could talk about it if you want me to. Well, sure, yeah, no problem. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey folks, Dave McRae here. Uh, fucking guys, man. Yeah. So, um, in case you haven't guessed, we're talking about Jamie Lee Curtis today, but specifically the fact that news just broke earlier today. I believe it was this morning. Uh, fuck a lot of shit goes on in my day. Um, that she has officially wrapped, uh, her role on the set of the new Halloween film. And, um, okay. I say this quite a bit at the beginning of a lot of my videos, but a lot, in a lot of cases, it's true. I wasn't going to do a video on this um, because I don't think this in and of itself is really news per se. Um, you know, we knew that she was going to wrap. Look, had she wrapped after a day? Yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's really interesting. Let's talk about that. But the fact that she wraps after two, two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks pushing it, not, not a big deal at all. But for a lot of people, it is. Not for everybody. I do see, you know, a fair amount of, people online trying to sort of educate those who are losing their fucking shit um, and trying to say, oh, no, 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 no. Like, you know, there's many variables involved. You know, you have to think of this. You have to think of that. You have to take that into consideration. You have to take this into consideration. And they're trying to sort of help those people who are otherwise losing their fucking mind saying, oh my God, that fucking sucks. This is going to be nothing but the, you know, the opening of the first 10 minutes of Halloween Resurrection. And I'm not going to go see the movie. Fuck this. Fuck Carpenter. It's going to be the shittiest movie of all time. Holy fucking shit. I mean, they make this giant leap you know, from here over to here, because Jamie Lee Curtis happened to wrap up her role after two and a half weeks or, you know, two weeks or whatever the case is. And, um, and that's sort of where I want to focus because you guys know me. Okay. You guys know me. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell it like it is, you know, I rarely pull any punches. And at the end of the day, I couldn't care less whether you agree with me or not, because we don't always have to agree. Um, but, uh, but I'm going to tell you how I feel and what I think. So um, that's what I'm going to do here. Now, let's talk about the shooting schedule. So uh, a couple of months ago, I uh, mentioned in one of my Halloween 2018 videos that I estimated that the shooting schedule for this new Halloween film, Principal Photography, would last probably anywhere from six to eight weeks on the average to fast end and 10 to 12 weeks on the sort of longer end. But I said then, and I'm saying it now, I would be very surprised if this went 10 to 12 weeks because, you know, you're getting into three month territory, which is quite long for a horror movie, especially something as simplistic as Halloween. I also based my estimate on Blumhouse because we know that they like to work uh, efficiently, quickly and fast for cheap. Now, when I say cheap, I don't mean, you know, five bucks in your pocket cheap. You know, I mean, probably somewhere between, you know, five and $10 million. Maybe a bit more because you're bringing, you know, a bona fide star on such as Jamie Lee Curtis. But, you know, I mean, this is not like an $85 million movie we're talking about here. So what do we know about this new Halloween film? Well, we know that principal photography began in the middle of January, right? In and around the 13th to 15th of January. Well, today is February the 16th, so we're roughly a month into shooting. And if my estimation is correct, and they're probably going to go maybe six, seven, eight weeks here, you know, shooting for two weeks is not unprecedented, and that's pretty, that's pretty average for the kind of role that Laurie Strode has in this new movie. Now, obviously I don't have the script in front of me. I have not looked at the script. I don't know what that role is, but I'm basing all of this on what I know about the Halloween series, what I know about John Carpenter, what I know about what David Gordon Green and Danny McBride have said about going back to the roots, but bringing it into the 21st century, into modern day, you know, casting a daughter and a granddaughter as well. They didn't just cast a daughter, they cast a granddaughter and the grand granddaughter is going to be the central focus. She is, we know this because this has pretty much been said, she is our new, for all intents and purposes, Laurie Strode in this film. So the likelihood that Jamie Lee Curtis is our main protagonist is very slim. This isn't going to be Halloween H40. Look, I, I know a lot of people like to make that sort of uh, comparison in sort of a joking kind of way. And some of you guys are dead serious about it because you really believe that this is going to be just another Halloween H20 just set another 20 years later. But the fact of the matter is, I think it's going to be very, very,
very different. The only similarities that I potentially see between the two films um, is in the character of Laurie Strode. The fact that Laurie Strode in Halloween H2O was dealing with a lot of PTSD and sort of the residual effects from the Halloween 1978 massacre. And she didn't celebrate Halloween. She didn't want to talk about Halloween. She kept it hidden from her colleagues and friends. And I think that I don't necessarily believe that she's kept it hidden in this new incarnation um, coming out this October, but I think the likelihood that this Laurie Strode in 2018 will be dealing with something similar in terms of the after effects, PTSD, doesn't celebrate Halloween is probably likely, but I think that's where the comparison and parallels will probably stop. But I will talk more about that in a video that I still plan on doing, which is my predictions and theories and what I want to see from this new Halloween. Halloween film. Um, now that we sort of know a bit more about the production, what's involved and, you know, I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row. So I haven't forgotten about it, folks. I do want to do it and I still plan on doing it, but you know me, I like to be thorough. But the real question comes down to if Jamie Lee Curtis was only on set for two weeks and they shoot for six to eight weeks, does that mean her role is insignificant, small, tiny, bullshit, useless, you know, two minute cameo, you know, something like the beginning of, you know, Halloween resurrection, absolutely unequivocally not. And there are many, many examples I could give you with actors and actresses and their roles and how significant they were, um, but how little time they spent on set. But the one I'm going to talk about hits very close to home and you don't have to look any further than the original classic from 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween. Now, Let's go all the way back to the original Halloween from 1978. Now that was about a three week shoot. I think it was three or four weeks in the spring of 1978. I think it was three weeks, 21 days, I think in and around there. And, uh, Donald Pleasance, I believe was on set for about five days, something like that. I think. Now, when you watch the 1978 film at no point, do you feel that Donald Pleasance's character is cameo-esque, is minimal, is um, uh, weak, uh, and insignificant to the overall sort of narrative of that first Halloween film. You don't feel that way. Now, you consciously know that his role is not huge. It's not as big as Laurie's role. Um, and, and you know that by just how much screen time each character has. But because Every time he was on screen, it was meaningful and impactful through, you know, dialogue, through, um, you know, certain moments that he had on screen, um, who he was playing off of, what he was saying, how he, through his dialogue, was helping to drive the narrative forward, right? What he was saying was, was very integral to the overall arcing theme of the entire film. And he was only on set for five days, roughly. So, and his scenes were not all used all at once, right? His scenes were used here and then here and then here and then here and then here. So he was seen all the way through the movie from the very beginning to the very end, but his scenes were short, quick, impactful, and meaningful. Okay. So now the reason why I'm telling you this and to keep that in mind is I'm not saying that that's what they're doing with Jamie Lee Curtis's character. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just trying to draw your attention to an example and not just any example, but an example you don't even have to look further than your backyard to go and find the original John Carpenter classic from 1978 Halloween, which in this new timeline is still canon. All the other films are in an alternate universe, right? So you don't need to look any further than the original film, the film that this new film is a sequel to to find the perfect example of somebody who was on set for a relatively short period of time and had a very meaningful and impactful and long lasting performance. Now, again, I'm not saying that that is what Jamie Lee Curtis's role is going to be in this new movie. I'm just trying to show you that through the creative choices that the writers and the directors make with certain characters, you can have somebody who's not there for a long period of time, but has great significance in the movie. It all comes down to how her character has been written and how they're going to utilize her character throughout the movie. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't think that just because she was on set for two weeks means that she's going to be on screen for two minutes. It doesn't mean that at all. 
okay? And maybe if you were to add up, you know, her screen time in this new Halloween film, maybe it would only add up to like maybe 10 or, you know, 12 minutes. But depending on how her character is written, depending on the execution of that character, depending on how they utilize that character, it may feel very impactful, very complete, and really resonate with the audience, especially if it's used, you know, in bits and pieces throughout the film. Now, again, I'm not saying that's what they're going to do. I'm just saying that it's not unprecedented for actors and actresses to be on set for relatively short periods of time and still have really significant roles. That's what I'm trying to say. So you have to keep those variables in mind. Blumhouse is specializes in shooting horror movies on the cheap, cheap as in, you know, low millions, right? On the cheap, quickly, efficiently, and to the point. Okay. So it wouldn't surprise me if in the next couple of weeks they wrap, right? Um, so you have to take those things into consideration just because she was on set for two weeks doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, her role is going to be, you know, completely insignificant. And it's like three minutes long. Doesn't mean that at all. It is all in how you utilize what you shoot with the character, what has been written for that character. And right now we don't have any strong details on what Laurie Strode's character is in this new movie, right? We don't know yet. So don't worry about it, okay? Be, th be, be thrilled and thankful that, wow, she has wrapped her role. Oh my God, it's real. She's done. She didn't die on set. You know, she didn't break an ankle or, you know, throw out a hip where they had to delay production. It's done. It really is. Her role's done. Oh my God. It all comes down to how they're utilizing that character for which we don't know yet. Okay. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, are you excited about it? I'm still going to do that predictions video, okay? For all of you who are asking me, you know, when are we gonna get your theories and predictions and what you wanna see with the new film? I'm still going to do it, okay? But again, I have to compartmentalize my thoughts and get everything sort of on the table before I do it, okay? Um, so it's a, it's a, you know, I like to be sort of really thorough with my explanations in case you guys haven't noticed yet. So it's coming. Um, but, uh, but you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta think about this You know, I gotta make sure I have all my ducks in a row. Um, so don't worry. I, I do plan to do it. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things, Dave McRae. McRae is M C R A E facebook.com slash many things, Dave McRae. Feel free to follow me there in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting videos. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got to say, guys. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I will talk to you guys soon. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Hey, how, how the hell did you see it? I, I'm in the middle of recording it. It's not posted yet. This is fucking creepy. Wow. I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.